What's up? Jason Summer with the Trackside Experience. We're here at Las Vegas Motor Speedway's Bull Ring again. We got Noah Gregson and his partner in crime, Raz, the man. So, you guys had a great season. It's been fun. Yeah. You guys really, uh, I'd like to use the word evolve. Yep. Is that the right phrase? I mean, yeah. come on, both of you guys have taken it from this level when we met back in the day. Running the lower levels, you guys ran your legends, had your fun, super late models, moving your way up. You've got some big steps ahead of you coming next season. You yourself have laid the foundation to what I like to say is uh, seeds to a bigger and better future for racers in general. First note, what do you think has been your biggest step this year in racing? What has helped you evolve and blossom? I think just learning and, and connecting with my team. Uh, we really bonded, uh, communicating with, with my team and Grayson, and, and really just being one. We run two cars out of the hauler and everything, but we're really one team at the end of the day. So um, just, just getting the team chemistry, which we have, and um, I feel like we really bonded. And I'm, I'm sad because it's the last race of the year, and, and I'm bummed out about it. But um, we'll always still be a team for the rest of the, my life and everything. And, um, so I'm, I'm just really thankful. What's the roots? Yeah, I've been thankful I've been a part of this opportunity with all these great guys. Sure. Now, you got yourself this foundation established. Where do you figure you got to be? I mean, all you guys want to, of course, everybody wants to be a cup racer, right? But the steps have got to be made. What do you think can help you evolve beyond this season? Uh, just working hard, finding uh, additional funding. You know, it's you know it's hard getting to the racetrack. I feel like it's hard part about racing. So, so hopefully we have a few things. Well, going. without the dollar, you don't yeah, run. Exactly. So hopefully we got a few things going. Um, I, I would love to do some more work on the East Coast and, and uh, you know take my talents to a bigger stage. I really feel like we've made tremendous strides for speed this year. Like, like Noah said, I, you know, I have to you know completely repeat it, but we were one team this year, and I think we were more of a team than last year. So um, I think that really helped me and both grow as a driver and, and take our uh, program to another level. Well, you both have proven that you have what it takes by just being behind the wheel for so long, dedicated, committed. But when we talk about hurdles of evolution, what do you think is the hardest thing you've encountered this year? Uh, just, just trying to, you know, always keep your chin up. It's hard when you have these bad luck, bad luck races. I mean, I had uh, four or five races where I didn't even finish inside the top ten, and that was really hard for not only myself but my team to, to keep our heads up. So, you know, when we go to the racetrack and we always have to forget the last race and you know, we'd be taking the race out one step at a time and I think that's that was our biggest hurdle so far of the season because like like I said earlier we had way more speed than what we did last year and uh, our results didn't show well yeah you've definitely been evolving again using the same expression but for you and them together this camaraderie that we've seen over the last year has given you both the uh, I'd say almost uh, a power a willpower if you can use that expression that willpower helps carry you into that next season, doesn't it? Yeah, absolutely. And I, I always like to, you know, I don't use it, but I always like to live by Noah's hashtag that he does no bad days. And, there you go. And, and it's something that uh, really, really hits me home. And, um, and, and it's something that I know it's home for Noah, but it definitely will for next year. So um, it, it saddens me that it's probably our last race as a, a official teammates, but. No, we were calling you the dynamic duo. Yeah. <laughs> I, I mean, you can't argue. I feel like we're probably the two best combination. Of, we, we get along better yeah. than any people out there, I think. And, and I think you need that as a team, and I think team owners really appreciate it. I think it's been, been noticed. Well, when you look at teams like Ryan Parks, you know, those guys, guys all hooked up, it's neat to see those. But the success is an intellectual thing that's happened with engineers, drivers, discussions with different teams always kind of have that weird balance to it. Yeah. Do you think, really personally feel that this bonding has given you guys a leverage up, a little leg up? Yeah, I think so. Our, our team, Jefferson Pitts Racing, we're, we're a family and, and that's why I think we have a lot of speed on the racetrack. Uh, you see the other the other teams and their they're teammates and their friends, but Grace is my best friend and he can say the same about me. So we work together hard. Um, That's fun. We're both going through challenges, but um, we support our, each other all the way. And um, being best friends with him and everything, it's it's not, we're not just teammates, we're best friends, like sure. I said. So I think that's helped us build the speed on the racetrack and build a relationship with our team. And, and that's really, 
having the good chemistry is why we've had been successful this year. Well, the fans are pulling for both of you, right? Yeah. This is my racing aside. We love having you guys when you join us for the virtual racing. Yeah. But we love cheering you off the fans. Love to see you get up there next year. No, Thank you. right on, dude. Thank We're you. so fired up for you. And uh, you, the fans, you get these guys up there. That's what it takes. Your support, your motivation, and then they back it up with the quality drive. Can't beat that. Jason with the Trackside Experience saying we're bringing you to the track.